Trying to decide between ClickUp and Asana? You're in the right place. So I'm about to review ClickUp and Asana and show you a little bit about both systems, what I like about them, what are the pros and cons of each, and why I would recommend one over the other. So first, a little backstory. We've personally been using Asana in our business for almost a decade, which is crazy when you think about it because Asana is super simple. It has all of the things that you might need to run a small team like ours and just have different types of projects in that system. So why did we want to experiment with ClickUp? Well, the reason is that we were doing project development for our software, Access Ally, which is a WordPress solution for online course and membership site creation. And we were using Jira. And Jira is great for software teams who have a lot of feature requests, bugs to be logged and who also run sprints. Sprints are a great way for software development teams to prioritize work and to basically work in chunks of time. So for example, on our team, what we do is we decide on the most important features or bug fixes that we need to have in the next two weeks to three weeks. And we schedule those in a sprint, we work through them, and then we do sprint testing. So that means after that sprint is done, we can start testing all the work that we've done in the past few weeks, and then we keep iterating like that. And Jira is awesome at that, but Asana didn't quite have that workflow that we were looking for. And so we wanted something that was a little bit more robust than Asana, but also that wasn't as clunky as Jira <laughs> because Jira is great, but with the app on the desktop, it was having a couple of issues and we were just running through very, very slow when we were trying to prioritize things and it was just slowing down our workflow. So Jira might still be great for certain types of organizations, but for ours, we realized we wanted something that was a little bit faster for us and that would also have the rest of the team using it because not everyone is on our development team, but everyone in the company should be able to see what we're working on and to also recommend future updates and solutions. So that brought us to experimenting with two different tools. First, we tried Infinity and Infinity is a great solution if you want something that is super simple, that does not have a ton of recurring options or dates, and also if you don't have a lot of different silos in your company. So with Infinity, we ran into a couple of issues where we had different teams that could not collaborate across different silos in the company because of the way boards are set up in Infinity. So that led us to ClickUp, and ClickUp has really been a lot of what we were looking for, especially as a replacement for Jira. So it's awesome to have all kinds of different types of tasks. We can actually see our timelines and when things are going to go live. And also it's just a really good system for communicating across different platforms and across different teams in our company. And you'll also want to think about whether you need to use the paid versions or not. With Asana, I think you can really get away without using the paid versions for smaller teams. And with ClickUp, I think if you want that functionality, you will have to pay for it. So I think that's something to also keep in mind. But here's the thing, we decided to keep using Asana. So Asana is a simple tool that everyone can pick up very easily, whereas ClickUp does have a little bit more of a learning curve. So that is one plus for Asana. Now the downside is that with Asana, you can't do all of the things that you can with ClickUp. So it is really pros and cons, and it will come down to what it is that you're trying to accomplish with your project management tool of choice. We use Asana for all of our marketing, including our email campaigns and really taking a look at our calendars and how everything syncs up for all of our content marketing needs. With ClickUp, we've been able to customize a formula so we can actually prioritize all of the work that we have to do on our software. So that means if a feature request comes in and only one person has asked for it, that will be prioritized lower than if we've been asked for that same feature request 10 or 20 or 30 times. So the reason I love Asana is because it is so simple and it does exactly what it says it's going to do and it doesn't overcomplicate things. So the great thing about that is if you don't want it to do super complicated things, then Asana is awesome. I really like the way that you can see all of your tasks across all different types of projects and teams in one place. I also love the inbox and I use this instead of email and I love that I can just come into one place, see any questions or comments or anything related to the tasks that I have going on, reply to them, 
very quickly. And then not only that, but I really, really like this little pop out window and how you can basically do little celebrations and little smiley faces and all kinds of things. And it might seem silly, but when you're on a virtual team and you need to, you know, convey your emotions that work has been completed or they did a great job, I think it just goes a long way to showing people how great they're doing. Um, so what we use Asana for mainly is our marketing and sales side of things and some human resources things. One thing that is awesome about it is that it really has great recurring tasks. So we use it to remind ourselves of things that happen at the same time every year, like filing annual state taxes and things like that. And it's just such a great way to sort everything and never miss anything. Nothing falls through the cracks in Asana, which I love about it. Um, we also use it for our email calendar. So you can see we have a calendar view here and we can come in and put all of our emails and content in here. Once it's scheduled, we can kind of keep track of that too. So we know exactly what is done and what needs to be done. The other thing I love about Asana is how you can have subtasks for a task. So here I have an example of a YouTube video that is coming out soon. And what we have is a bunch of subtasks that get assigned to different people on the team. And the great thing about this is it's all connected to the main task. So if I have a subtask, for example, um, this one here, and I'm not sure what it's referring to. I can click right up here and see the main task, see the link for the video. And that just makes it so much easier for the team to work on all the right stuff and keep everything organized. We have used both the free version and the paid version of Asana. And the paid version gives you a couple of extra things like being able to add custom fields. And we tried to use it for tracking all of our product feature requests. And I'll get to that in a minute. But the other thing I don't love about Asana is that you really cannot change the width of this sidebar. And it seems like not a big deal at all. But if you have longer project names and if you have a lot of projects, it really becomes hard to see exactly what it is you're about to click on. So small thing, but it does make a difference in my opinion. And then beyond that, one of the things that I really like about Asana is that it does have an app. And so if you are on mobile or if you are just more of an app person, then you can use the app instead of the website. Asana also does have a board view. So if you are more of a Trello fan and you like to be able to move things from one section to another, it's a great way to visually see. You can also see I have a different background here. That's something that's customizable in Asana that is pretty cool too. So you can really make it look the way that you want to. So I would say overall that Asana is awesome if you want something simple that does exactly what you want it to do. And if you are cool with the free version, I think the free version is awesome. As you get more and more team members, you may need to upgrade grade and you'll kind of figure out where you hit that limit. Infinity is all about boards and we ended up creating a board for each section of the company. And the problem with that is that we couldn't cross collaborate. So we would add each other to the same boards, but if something spanned between sales and marketing, then we were really in trouble because we couldn't see everything all in one place. And one thing that I love about Asana is that you can see your tasks across all different types of projects and teams all in one place. So that was a big drawback for Infinity the way that it is at the moment. The other thing that we didn't really love about Infinity is the way that you cannot have recurring tasks. So if we were doing recurring tasks, and we use the automation that just came out for Infinity, it would just create a new task over and over and over again that we would have to click off and essentially delete or completely filter out. Um, and so if we didn't have a filter for something that was not done, then we ended up with a huge list of tasks that just kept multiplying every day. For example, if we had a daily recurring task. So those were some of the big things that really made us realize that Infinity was either not mature enough or just not designed for our use cases. So although we've been using Asana for almost a decade and both personally and with my team, one of the things that drew me to click up was really the flexibility for how you can organize work. And especially on our team, as we grow and as we do more development and more software releases, it was really important for us to be able to do software release work and especially sprints. So what I like here is you can see kind of what's upcoming. You can also see what's trending and what other people are working on. You can also see your to-do items across all the different types of spaces. And I really like that. Also the notifications are very similar to the 
Asana inbox, which again, I kind of use instead of the emails because you can come in here and when you're done, you can just mark it off and then you know you've already answered this and it's a great way to keep track of your work. What I really love about ClickUp and what drew us to it in the first place is that we do sprints and development sprints inside of our software company. And so that means that we are constantly organizing a lot of feature requests. We need to estimate how much time they will take. We need to prioritize them and assign them to different people on the team. And then we need to be able to test the different pieces of work that we've done. And we were using Jira for that, which is designed specifically for software development. And we did use Jira for a couple of years, but we realized it was a little bit clunky the app was being sunset and also on top of that um, it was just really really slow because we have so many feature requests we have literally hundreds of them so it was starting to really bog down our development process so we moved to ClickUp it's a lot more flexible and it can do a lot of different things but with that comes a little bit more complexity so that is something that we try to keep in mind as well and what we have here are all of our feature requests and what we've done is we've set up a function so that we can essentially do a formula that calculates you know how many people are asking for a feature how urgent we think it is how complicated it is whether there's a workaround or not another feature that i love in clickup are the tags so you can really search through and see everything that has a specific tag and that helps us also better organize our work there's also different views so you can do a board view where you can move things over as things get done and similar to Asana, there's a calendar view so you can see as things go over time, how things overlap. There's also a Gantt view, which allows us to see how long things take and what is related to each other, what depends on all the different tasks as well. So one thing I will say for ClickUp is that there's a lot more functionality when you upgrade to a paid plan. So I definitely think that is worth it for ClickUp if you're going to go for ClickUp. And like I said, it's more complicated. It can do a lot more. And that complexity is part of the magic of what ClickUp does. So we actually use both tools in our business and it's something that we're still trying to really finalize if we want to keep using both or if we want to really go for only one of the two. We know that ClickUp is more powerful and that's why we started using it to replace Jira. And you know, you might be wondering, well, why don't you do that in Asana? And we used to, but ClickUp really just gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to those sprints, running sprints and having a lot more um, data and information tied to a specific task in a way that you can't quite do inside of Asana. So here are the questions I would ask yourself. Are you looking for something simple where a couple of people on your team will come in and collaborate? Or are you looking for something that's a little bit more robust where you can design your own workflows and really collaborate at scale? So I think both options are really amazing. So there you have it in a nutshell, a quick comparison of Asana and ClickUp. And I hope this helps you decide between the two. If you sell digital products, you'll want to watch my video all about handling taxes for digital products now.